Samantha knocks at Megan's door. Time bomb planned to explode in California. Megan's half-sister knocked on the door again to throw poop in the face of the former royal couple. While Harry became the focus of criticism in the UK, Samantha took the opportunity to trample her brother-in-law pathetically. Samantha Markle has accepted the invitation of the LBC program to talk about Harry's reprehensible actions in the Netherlands. After a series of negative articles about the red-haired prince, Samantha directly sparked the media boom that made Harry and Meghan jump backwards. Meghan's sister candidly shared her thoughts on Harry's actions as follows. Well, you know Harry came out and said he just wants to protect the Queen. Well, that's like sitting there lighting the fuse of a cannonball saying, Wait, okay, incoming, I'm lighting this cannonball, here it comes, but I am protecting you. Yes, she was talking about how Harry wanted to protect the Queen, but surreptitiously threw a grenade at the royal family. Harry said the main purpose of his royal visit this time is to ensure that the Queen is protected by the right people. Harry's words made the Queen's aides extremely angry. Those who have worked hard during the pandemic to ensure the health of the Queen are being publicly vilified. This is unacceptable. Samantha continued, It doesn't work that way. It is such hypocrisy and the actions don't speak as loudly as the words. The words speak loudly, but the actions don't. It's just terrible. Perhaps during the lifetime of the former royal couple, Harry and Meghan will not be able to escape their label of hypocrisy. After the couple's unwarranted absence at Prince Philip's memorial service, Harry was accused of hypocrisy when he repeatedly expressed his desire to bring his children back to the royal family but vehemently refused the female invitation, King. Experts say Harry was worried about the Queen's safety but was in no rush to return to the royal family when he learned of her illness. This lie has made Harry an untrustworthy person to the people. Harry and Meghan are said to be blatant liars following their series of fabricated stories about the royal family. The British people said that now they don't even want to hear anything from Harry and Meghan's mouth. Those bogus stories got the royal family in big trouble with the media. They were unjustly misunderstood and their monarchy suffered heavy losses. The LBC host also mentioned the racist element, which Meghan mentioned in her interview with Oprah Winfrey. Mr Nick Ferrari said, What you thought about claims that some of the reason behind reaction to Meghan was because of her skin colour and there was a racist element? Samantha quickly gave her opinion before the nod of the opposite person. I think that came out. That was definitely PR that came out in defense of some of her actions that she was being called on because that only started when there was a lot of controversy about lavish spending and lies and things going wrong. Samantha seems to be familiar with the ludicrous antics of the former royal couple. She believes that the information that Meghan gave is not true. It's just personal PR and overshadows the negative rumours about her. While the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were in the Netherlands, Samantha continued to apply to the court with the aim of speeding up the trial. 
It seems both she and her estranged father, Thomas Markle, have been looking forward to being reunited with Meghan's family in court. Just a few hours later, Meghan Markle immediately flew from the Netherlands to Los Angeles and left Harry alone to attend the Olympics. Meghan and Samantha's duel for justice is reaching its climax. Experts say that Meghan's lawyers are probably also preparing documents to speed up the trial. In this lawsuit, Samantha nicknamed Harry the one of interest. She once again accused the former royal couple of fabricating information about their past lives and defaming Mr. Thomas Markle. According to Samantha, Harry and Meghan's lying interview in March last year took a toll on her book sales. Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister has been negatively affected since the interview was released. Not only that, Meghan's half-sister also said that she herself has been suffering mentally. Her honour was badly trampled in that interview. She had a hard time finding work because everyone recognised her as Meghan's older sister. It seems Meghan is being put in a dilemma as Samantha's meticulous allegations are put into writing. Initially, Meghan's lawyers thought that the Duchess would consider this an unfounded lawsuit and would not accept it to be brought to court. However, Thomas Markle made Meghan change her mind after he decided to help Samantha in this legal battle. Mr. Thomas has set up a separate YouTube channel to specialise in exposing Meghan's story. This action made the Duchess's blood boil. She has decided to apply to the courts to wage this legal battle. After Meghan declared war against Thomas and Samantha, the father-daughter pair continued to antagonise Meghan and Harry with media interviews. Up to this point, Samantha still refused to give up. She always finds ways to approach and spark public opinion to criticise Harry and Meghan even worse after the couple's shocking statements. According to experts, that legal battle will soon take place, possibly as soon as Harry returns to the country. Although Meghan's reason for rushing back home is nostalgia for the children, it is understood she is looking forward to facing Samantha. In an interview with LBC, Samantha unleashed a series of barbaric conspiracies involving Meghan's children. Samantha accused Meghan of not allowing her father to see his grandchildren's faces. She said, my dad has not seen the children's full frontal faces. He's only seen a little square of Archie's face not my father, and it was my understanding that the royal family has not either. Samantha believes that this action of Harry and Meghan may cause her to spread rumours that Lily does not exist in this world. This sounds reasonable because no one has ever seen Lily with their own eyes. Samantha said, the world would have joined together in celebrating these children, but nobody has seen them. Perhaps this is Harry and Meghan's special upbringing. They will be locked in the former royal couple's nine-bedroom castle for the rest of their lives. Although the royal couple have promised the Queen that they would soon bring their great-grandchildren back to her, there was no guarantee that would happen. What do you think about this plot of Samantha? Maybe Meghan will scream at her sister's barbaric attack.
the two will wrestle in America and become the laughing stock of the world. Let us know what you think in the comments below. See you in the next videos. See ya!